good evening to the regular meeting May 10th for the Village of Armada Planning Commission. Um, called over at 735. Uh, I'll rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Roll call. Patterson? Here. Henderson here. Conan? Here. Sleds? Here. Delecky absent. Alright. Very good, thank you. Uh, approval of agenda. Any amendments, any additions, subtractions? Motion to approve as is. First and second. Okay, any other discussion? All, right. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passed. All right. Uh, approval of meeting minutes April 3rd. We have our, yes, we are, we are all here, so. Spelling error to amend on there. Okay. Under the uh, site plan T. As we know it, we can now approve it as amended. As amended. Yes. All right. That was so moved. Right. Under T. Oh, oh. With yeah. Thought, thought, with, uh, yeah. 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 Flipping Becky. Oh, no, Becky knew it. She caught us, so she was there to see if we she catch caught it. She caught it. No, I wasn't going to You need Paul for that kind of stuff. <laughs> okay. okay, very good. Uh, okay. Um, anything else? All right, well, motion to approve the minutes as amended. As so moved. Second. Very good. Any other discussion? Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. All right. All right. Uh, a motion to uh, enter our public hearing for the sign ordinance. What time are we? 37. I'll so move. Second. Okay. Uh, Patterson. All right. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. All right. Any public comment to the proposed sign ordinance, or proposed amendments to the sign ordinance? Well, I think the um, the permit application for the special usage for signs is a good idea. Good solution. And say yes. Here are no more. Uh, we need a motion to. Uh, well, yeah, here are no more public comments. Is there a motion to close the public hearing? So well, oh, let me just ask a question on this. Sure. Uh, well, wait. We discuss it after after we close the public hearing. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna make the motion now. Motion to close the public hearing. <laughs> <laughs> Second. Very good. All right. Seven thirty. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Public hearing closed. Okay. Internal discussion. Commission discussion. So, Dave, you had. Well, like on the temporary signs. Would, that, would we say temporary signs? Right. Mm -hmm. The permit? Or see, um, you know, uh, what things might come under this? Of course, we know the parks would. Political signs? Would you get a permit to have a, a gigantic political sign in your front yard? This place for yeah, so if I may, the, the temporary signs, so we've kind of structured it, we've got three tiers. One is something that you can just put out at your leisure. You know, a political sign, a candidate you're supporting, a cause you like, uh, or just... You know, and that we get a permit for if it's... 
No, nope. too big. You would not have to. So, okay, to it's just under our old ordinance. So, that's so the old ordinance, you technically were supposed to have a permit for a political sign, um, and so the how we're amending this is to provide for just being able to put out a single sign so or, you can do that. or what have you. Yeah, so, you, so as this is written, you're allowed one temporary sign for every 50 feet of road frontage you have. So if you have 125, you get uh, three signs. Okay, I've right. got 60 feet of road frontage. You get so you two. get two signs. You get two signs. And you'll get two signs yeah. out yep. there. Yep. Correct. And so you'd be able to put them out for 45 days at a time, pull them back down, and you can put out something else. Or if you wanted the same sign out for longer than that, you could go and approve and apply for the building official to approve you for a longer period of time or a bigger sign. You were commenting on the size though, David. It's good six square feet and three foot tall. Yeah. So you're looking at two by three and three foot tall. It's not you're you're gonna have a yeah. massive sign in your in someone's yard. Or but whether what yeah. regardless of what now Sam the signs are quite a bit bigger than that. The signs for the oh, bar. Oh, on the fence. Yeah. Right. Fire. The banners on the fence. Yeah, yeah. Um, how big are those? Three feet by eight feet. And so that gets into the, the well. Go ahead. That gets into the third tier then, which is planning commission approval. So you kind of treat that like a site plan. Uh, the applicant would come in and say, "Here's the total square footage. Here are the sizes of signs we're going to put out. Here's where we're going to put them. Those types of pieces of information." And then the planning commission would approve the duration. That they have permit. to fill out a permit, a permit form. And Correct. So, so the whole the whole reason is to give uh, give the planning commission some say, so that we're not uh, so that somebody isn't going out and overrunning the community. Someone isn't putting out a whole bunch of lewd signs that that the planning commission doesn't want to approve. The city doesn't want to see out there those kind of standards. Um, but right now, uh, there isn't really a way to permit a large sign installation like that through the ordinance. So it makes sense to think about it. Oh, I see. Yeah, you got it in here now. All right. I just found it from two and two together. Now, what if somebody did yeah, that? Yeah, some yeah. kind of, I don't know, for some reason had. Family reunion? Well, usually you wouldn't have great big signs. Sure, a really big family. <laughs> uh, big letters. Well, for whatever reason. Well, it might be the bell case. <laughs> <laughs> but there is criteria for it. Yeah, it's not just for any reason whatsoever. So that's why it has to come before planning, because planning will review it, it is, and use yeah. their discretion. And it has to be something that benefits the community and um, serves the greater good. So it's, an, it's almost a concern, like an SALU. There be, but is there some? What is that criteria? Like you judge so that it meets these means by, and therefore right. it's a pass versus right. a. Is when is it that you know to be consistent? To be how do you? What is those guys that you would do to be that way? That's what uh, you know. I intentionally left some leeway into mm -hmm. the ordinance um, because we can't really anticipate some extravagant. Considerations that you might want to permit. So mm -hmm. rather than that's what you just did. Um, no, you know it's it's common it's for right. yeah, it's good. It's common for ordinances to rely on the intent and character of a community, and so that's really going to be your big, biggest justification for uh, whether there's too much signage or whether there is uh, safety concerns by the placement of the signage, things like that. Mm -hmm. We're specifically writing this to not focus on the content and, and right. the uh, reason behind mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. uh, if you did that, we'd run into all sorts of legal issues. So, uh, yeah, you should, so we're focusing on them. So it's yeah. our, the perimeter of free time is really what we're looking at. Okay. Now, if you feel like it would be helpful to you, we can put a maximum, maybe a maximum size, a maximum number of signs, but then we get into a case where one year the festival is extremely successful and you, you, get that, you need double the amount of signs that year, right. well then you're talking about a variance to allow mm -hmm. additional signs. Uh, it's an extra hoop that I don't necessarily think is necessary. Mm -hmm. So the approval effective would be a site plan approval 
to be submitted. Um, but then, then from a fee base, though, is it a new? Is there a new fee for it? Because no. you wouldn't charge the same as you would for a site plan, would you? No. Now, do our banners? You know, the banner, like if we put a banner across the street, you know, the hundred and two hundred of our main affair, or uh, you know, the welcome to Armada, mm -hmm. are those somehow covered in this ordinance? That's a good question. That is a good question. Would somebody say that if we yes. have a banner across the street, there's a violation of your own ordinance? Which we do at the middle of the year. Well, all the others are looking too. Is there anything in the code of ordinances? Goes up to takes that on over the zoning ordinance. Yeah. Well, I, you, I just, I, mean, I just can't. You sometimes, you know, we've had some some things go where they were. We haven't been both places, and we've had to reconcile the differences. So. Do you know that you could use this year that we wind up in? Yeah. Um, that is a very good. Well, the reason why I also say that is because that would be. Cons I would you know, is municipal. Versus public, well, what, there, there may have a, a sign to for our made again. Maybe I think there maybe is one for the right there. Made a fair at the fair. south end of town. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we got one for our thing. Coming to the village to yeah, I mean, I guess we'll just go up. I mean, again, the arena fair is on by Larry's uh, yeah. events right there. Yeah, the yeah. Entrance of town. Yeah, the arena fair is there. Right. Right. I thought the arena again was too. Maybe I don't know, and, but. You know, oh, we don't for instance, is the Armada Fair one covered? You know, it's a community. They ain't on the corner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the answer to that would be because it's in the right of way, it's really up to, to you as the village to permit those signs. Whether if they're um, government initiated festivals mm -hmm. or events or something mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. that, they would fall into oh, a government a sign. If it were something that somebody were applying for for that. Can we put a banner over the right of way for some reason? Then that would go and yeah. fall into the, the planning commission. Yeah, like like the that right. made a line say they were having an event or something. So or they, the do, they just put a huge banner for our main affair. So mm -hmm. technically, right. according to our ordinance, they should just apply just like Sam did and say, mm -hmm. I've got to display it from here to there, and this is the size. Yes. Okay. But does, yeah, that's a good point. Does it apply in the right of way? Um, so. I would. I would okay. certainly do that. So if it's government initiated, you, you kind of the, but you're the fair isn't by. government initiated. Correct. Correct. Right. Correct. So yeah. The, so the fair board is coming and would have to come and say, hey, we're going to put this up, even though the, the insta installation may be done by Ed's no. team. I'm assuming. Oh no, it's not. No. The board it's, it's, oh, they do their own install. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought they just right. installed it. I thought yeah. or the or yeah. So in all reality, okay. if, if an outside entity is putting a banner over your right of way anyways, the city should approve it in some form or fashion, whether it's just uh, somebody in the office saying, yes, you can do it, or now you have a formal mechanism that everybody it's can It's never been a problem that I'm aware of. No, it's but not, but we should make everybody. It's just make well, it we don't want right someone right. saying, hey, you're not even following your own rules. Yeah. Right, yeah. exactly. And I don't really think the fair would have an issue submitting something like Sam did here. Yeah. To say, Especially if you made a little form, you just have to fill in the answers, then yeah. it would be. Yeah, we need to let them know, though, whoever. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. that could be pretty filled. Well, Michelle, she didn't have a call. call. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Comes in the court, I would say. <laughs> All right, so then, so the, the so the building inspectors. Okay, so we have his permit larger temporary signs for non-residential principal uses subject to the following. Okay. And then, so therefore, that would also be he's the he's the enforcer of, of the permitted signs as well. Correct. All right, and in non-permitted, this is in the, on display. That's where he has his. Okay. Yeah. And if it goes past that, basically, then it would come. You'd say that's kind of the deviation from that to us. Correct. Right. 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 So we're creating. A, you said there. Yeah, I can see. Uh, even in the in the that in the applicate, there are not only of the three situations. We have three tiers in that approval process. Right. Basically. And the and the jump is kind of a combination between the size of the sign and the duration of display. Okay. I do think that. Um, Ben gave me a few things that he wanted a little different, mm -hmm. um, and I've gone over them with Brian, but I think, because what you're going to prove, you're going to prove it, and now we're going to retype this up, yep. or it goes to council on Monday, so I think that we should go over the few things yes. that Ben has mentioned. By the way, um, so in the motion to approve, 
it is simply going to be as written, or we don't have to go through. We're going to say as line. written, right? Okay. We're just going to say as right. written because it'll include the. And the how are we kept to the as the I meaning? Is it by date or by because of, it's by Brian's? Um, as Brian is amended by today's um, from this date. Okay. So if you go to page um, of the actual sign ordinance, not the one the little thing crossed off, but the one mm -hmm. that actually says the original, sign. Yep. 13.3, under G. Elimination. Hang on, 13.02. G. G1. A, B, C, E, F, H. 13.3. I got 13.03, but there's no G. Right. It goes F, H. I think you're on page four. Flip back one page. Oh, he did. Yes, Dave, you're on the page before. That's on there, 1302. 1302. No, oh, no, no, no. Page. Okay. I see. Good. That's a good call. You're right. The section number. When you said, oh, now I think I didn't think yeah, it. Right yeah, yeah, the odds are in the section number. The page numbers are different. Um, so G1. It says external elimination of signs shall be limited to fully shielded light fixtures per sign face that use a maximum 150 watt metal halide tungsten halogen or incandescent right. lamps but and bed would like it to LED. also have or equivalent lumens for LED. Yeah, or, yeah I agree. But that is a good one. Right. And, and it's a good point because the... Well, everything's going LED right now. But the but we're doing it as equivalent because there isn't a exact, exact. translation right. between the two because it also depends on what you, which one you're comparing it to. Um, on right. that same page, number H, letter H, mm -hmm. um, the part where it says and permitted non-residential uses in residential districts, Ben does not think that you should allow reader or changeable board signs in a residential, in residential. district. Make that a special essay, special approval, you know, special uh, request, uh, uh, zoning variance. Yep, so that would be in the instance of a church in a residential district if they wanted a, a reader board sign, something like that. Mm -hmm. um, if we cross that off, then if they were to apply for a sign, they would have to go through a variance process to get mm -hmm. approval. Agreed. So we don't want to put those kind of things in the commercial in the uh, residential. residential, right? Makes so that sense. would just take out yeah. and permitted, not right. That's what Ben said. Kind of industrial uses and permitted oh, non residential. Okay. So it, it literally ends at industrial uses, then, right? And industrial uses, yeah. correct. Okay, so that they and include permitted. one reader board, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, I skipped one. Thirteen, page thirteen dash two. Under A one A, or assign as three or more faces. Okay, we're not going to. Uh, uh, we're going to eliminate the three faces. Only allow two assigned with two faces. So where a sign has two faces, two faces that are more than two feet apart. Right. And then we'll also add letter D. That says there should be a maximum of two sides per sign. Right. Just so. Okay, so there's a redundancy in that part. Okay. Well, it's saying that you just can't have a sign mm -hmm. more than two sides. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it ties back into why we're number one king. Exactly. Okay. All right, moving Good. on. Page 134. Just so that if somebody looks at this, they see. If you look at section 1303, mm -hmm. your numbers, um, well, first we'll go with G. We're going to, there's no G. There's no G, yeah. But we're going to put G back in there, and the old G had to do with, um, it was called handicap signs. Mm -hmm. It's going to be barrier free signs. It's just going to say that barrier free has to comply with um, all ADA requirements or, mm -hmm. you know. We're not going to put any specific yep. dimensions or anything. It's whatever the current yeah, rules are. The current ADA, I think there's still a 2010, though. 14 isn't out yet. Is 14 um, out yet? I want to say, I, don't know I think it's 15. It is. Is. I don't think it's right. Um, 
then it's missing a number, but he or a letter, but he's just gonna fix. Those. Right, but so we're still I mean we we got F G H I, but then we go to he's gonna fix all those. He's okay. gonna fix all of those. So the letters are in the proper order. All right. So we missed. Oh, them. I didn't see. There's two more over here. Yeah. We are. We'll still be losing some of the signs, so I recommended removing contractor construction signs, real estate signs. I was in it. Okay, I had a quick. You mentioned about removing the numbers. So, like in engineer drawing, that you don't remove the letter. You keep. You just put remove next to it. So you always keep the structure the same. If something's been taken out, you just put the word removed. You can replace it, but you leave it. Is there a reason to to have any of those pit keeper lines or completely re in it? Because it doesn't really mean anything at that point. The rest of the ordinance doesn't really reference this directly, so okay. there's not a huge impact. If you prefer to see it that way. No, I would just I thought of it as yeah. to that's you usually yeah. because in case you want to reapply or something changes, you you don't have to then redo it again. Yeah. So. Yeah, since the sign yeah. ordinance sets slightly. It's, in a way separate from the other development standards, um, it's not quite as much of a concern. Fair enough. Right. Um, page. Uh, 13.7, section 13.06. You just have to correct A on the bat on the end of A. It's um, two feet apart. Yeah. Two feet apart, yeah. Because it's already been it's already was somewhere up in the front, else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back yeah. in 13, mm -hmm. three there, where we just did that. Yeah, so um, over there. 13 on 2A. Mm -hmm. I'd like to make one change. And um, in D, which is a new subsection, um, the way I've written it is not how I intended to write it. I apologize. Um, so this right now says if a sign is higher than five feet in total height, that's the only time you're allowed a changeable message sign. Um, what my intent was, was only to allow the changeable section of a sign to be a maximum of five feet. Oh. So um, you permit a maximum ground sign of up to 10 feet. Oh, so okay, could, I get you. So right. you could allow a, mm -hmm. the changeable portion on the lower five feet and then have additional signage above. Gotcha. Oh yeah, that's an interesting one. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. So I'll try to make that change. You were trying to say that, the, that a five feet portion, a maximum of five feet of that, what it would have been the allowable 10 feet on a ground side can be uh, a changeable okay. message board. Correct, correct. But then, okay, then it says message board into the sign may utilize up to 70% of the total permitted sign up. So the reason okay, so there's a second is, qualification to it. If you weren't exactly ten foot, for example, you know, you would have to be a number. Well, no, it's kind of an additional thing. So if you think about a, a kind of a masonry sign where you might have this changeable board, you you should have some extra space, whether it's for permanent signage, mm -hmm. um, you know, maybe it's a business name on top, and then have changeable copy below, something like. So I can remember a ground sign. Did it give a because we don't have an area defined? Um, we got a, we've got a height. Is, is well, here we go. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. All right. So if the height is ten foot, so it's thirty six square feet. You get five. What? So that gives you the length. So then at five times that, you get seventy percent of that value. Then yeah. So you're at okay. you know approximately twenty eight. Okay. Square feet um, out of that. What's side. the percentage for? Seventy percent would yeah. be. I mean, um, so in terms of why would there, why, why is the value of the percentage? It would be there so that no more than 70% of the sign, of a 36 square foot sign, could be changeable. The rationale being you don't, you generally don't want to allow a sign that is only a message. changeable message. You yeah. want it to say uh, the business name or the, the name of the occupant, something like that. So okay. Encouraging okay. All right. Permanent I got signage you. I got you. in addition to the temporary signage. And that will also be moved to the left to yeah. be yeah. lined up with everything else. <clears throat> Page 13.9. Um, letter C. Signs on trees and utility poles. We're going to cross off fences, park pipe benches. Fences specifically at the park. 
Um, Ben's argument was, though, that that would also, if you were to dedicate a bench and want to put one of those placards on it, that would not allow you to do that. So that was his argument for taking the words fences and park type benches off of there. Okay. All right. So we're taking fences wow. out and park type benches. And park type benches. benches. So it becomes yeah. a, it, it's not okay. a prohibited yes, yes. use. Correct. All right. And you said for the park and for the, yeah, okay. Got it. So the bench and the other. Benches and the park, not fence at the park, or just no, they just do the fence at the park. But if somebody were to um, mm -hmm. donate a bench and sure. want to dedicate it to the memory of their parents right. and put that little placard on it, technically, yep. you're not allowing that if you leave that in there. Okay, so I'm wondering as you're talking this through, I know I said I was on both with fences and benches, mm -hmm. but I kind of want to keep fences in here. Right. Now, if we keep fences, can that be part of the special approval? So it can still vote? be approved as part of the, the Planning Commission or Building Official approval. Um, yeah, but under what, though? But I, because if we were doing it based on it, uh, the intent is size, um, what's the, what's well, the quote, I'll call it variance then? Well, so let me take a step back. If you were to cross out fences here, then somebody could theoretically just go around and start placing a whole bunch of signs on a fence. Okay. It's no longer a prohibited sign type. But it could be allowed under this Planning Commission approval special thing that they get that's All outside right. of the realms of what our things are. Maybe to, to ensure that, we can write um, on page 13.8, there's the introductory that says, under <coughs> section 1309, <coughs> says, the following signs shall not be permitted in any zoning district. Um, we could amend that to say, unless oh. it's provided for elsewhere in this ordinance. Is that a stretch? Well, no, not if it falls under that. So that's what I'm saying. Is, does, is, is that a stretch making it? Is that meaning that it could fall under that then? I'm fine with it. I see both. I see exactly what Ben went, but I also see Brian's point to that in it. So what's the happy medium? So I think I think you got it. Unless, we're dead again, Brian, again. Unless provided for it elsewhere in this So that would give, uh, if the Planning Commission or the building official decided that a temporary sign application mm -hmm. came in and it was appropriate to put on a fence, it's it's a fence. Well, sure except it says it. under Planning Commission approval, your signage is proposed to exceed the display period, sign area, or so that would be sign area. Well, that's why I asked what's the variance area, then. Or sign height limitations. So, is that the sign area that we're saying that that would fall under the Planning Commission being able to approve? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Have time. Yeah. Area or All right. location? Well, hold on. What if I was going to say, is there a one for location? Because what if the area is we right? Said and right. There's, and your point is, what if they're small enough, but there's a lot of them? Right. right. You know, it's it, 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 it it still be, it, yeah, what about look, it's location at that point? Because mm -hmm. you can have one that meets the size, but but have a, have an absolute you know ton of them, ton of them. which yeah. you don't want that either. But it does meet the non permitting so it wouldn't necessarily have to go in. And so keeping it in there alone in general accounts for that. Um, so how does it follow back to us though? Well, can it go sign location? Yeah, so we would add or sign location. Or sign location. So under the, under what is that, under the Planning Commission approval at Section 2? So the same way signage is proposed to exceed the display period, sign area. There we go. Yep. Sign location. Plus sign location. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. That's good. And then on that same 13.9 page, uh, letter E, 
signs that incorporate string lights, flashing or in intermittent lights, exposed incandescent bulbs, animation or unshielded luminous tube, and exposed bulb fluorescent lighting, not including reader board signs. Ben thinks it should also not include neon because her neon lights tend to you know, flash, but they're not. <clears throat> so it's a, not including reader board or neon signs. Luminous too. What the heck is an unshielded luminous too? Um, I got the fluorescent. I got incandescent. I know about neon, but what is an unshielded luminous too? To me, that almost is asking that it is neon. There, these lights. Well, that's a fluorescent, though. Um, but they do make those without. Without the fluorescent. Yeah, these they are do. shielded. But, yeah. Oh, I didn't know. Well, that. Yeah, if you didn't have the shield, yeah. Right. Yeah. Then you would have it. Yeah. So you sometimes. See oh, those. okay. You're saying so even that not. is. You're saying the shielded part is not the material of the material. It's the the the, the, actual, the shroud. The actual bulb itself. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So in this case, if that bulb was exposed, that we would call that an unshielded. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. All right. It's not including reader board signs. I'm fine with neon. Reader board and or neon signs. Yes. Okay. That sounds good. Oh, was there any reason to have LED in that one? As well. Not well, LED signs. LED in what one? In the one we were just talking about. Where do you see LED? I didn't. I'm, I'm saying, saying it's so what about? Well, this is under prohibited signs. Mm. Okay, got it, got it, got it. But we would, pro but we would prohibit one that does have it in there. It does have. If it so were it's LED, it screen. wouldn't be prohibited. It would not be prohibited. Okay, that was all of Ben's um, suggestions, comments, I guess. The other way we can take care for us, but you are per permitting the other one. So it's all about something being exposed or something flashing is what you don't want, regardless of the source, right? As I understand, that's the intent. The original flashing was an LED. So we could add, um, or any other unshielded light source. Well, that's why I was asking if unshielded luminous, if they, what did they, but it says tube, so I got it now, yep. So on the unshielded light source, I, yep. Why is it but what if it's shielded? Or illuminated signs. You don't want lit up signs, is what, you, what, what we're trying to get away from, right? No, I think it was, it's, well, that's true, it's a string light. I, I think it was, you don't want something with string and then, but it, you don't want it flashing, right. ultimately. Right. You don't want something exposed, you don't want something flashing. Probably need lights with motion. Oh, that's, well, yeah, that's a good way, especially with the other, uh, yeah, would you get them to run? So that's covered in the item below that. It's right. like signs that have any visible moving parts, mechanical movement, or other apparent visible movement achieved yeah. by okay, there you go. mechanical okay. means. Okay. Good. So, okay. All right. So you're covered there. So I think. The flashing open signs aren't, aren't good. Maybe those are illegal. Well, no, that's why we changed it to not including the neon. Oh, not including the yeah. neon. So we would add our other non-shielded light source. Correct, guys? Yes. That actually serves more of a catch-all anyways. Becky, was that it though? Yep, that was it. All right. Anybody else? Did anybody say, else was there say anything else? So I'd just like to make a general statement about the, the amendments that are proposed. Um, you know, one of the one of the reasons and, and uh, 
directives coming out of council was to address some of the content neutrality concerns. There's a recent Supreme Court case, like the memo says, that that uh, has forced everybody nationwide really to change their their standards to get rid of things like singling out opinion and political signs, singling out real estate signs, construction signs, all those types of things. Um, and so we've tried to address those as best as possible in the amendments that you have. Um, there are some things that are still up for debate. So if you think about uh, think about a directional sign, as we've got it defined here, it says that this is a sign that points you in a direction, right? So by by that definition, you're you are focusing on the content of what that sign says. Mm -hmm. So some of those things are relatively benign and have not been challenged in the court of law to date. Um, so at this point, we're letting common sense prevail on those. Um, For now, that's not to say that that may not change in the future, but it is you know, something that we should be aware of as we go through this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Very good. What's our action then? We so have a motion to send it to council. I would say, is it a motion to send the ordinance as amended to council for approval? Or okay. do we need a roll call vote for that? You guys approve it and send it to council for adoption. They adopt Adopt the ordinance. Adoptions. Uh, do we need a roll call vote, though? I don't think so. Okay, no. Sorry, it's the majority. All right. A motion to approve the signed ordinance uh, from McKenna, dated April 21st, as amended uh, through today's discussion. Made that motion. No, I was asking for a motion. Oh, it was his thing. No, this isn't the, the, that was the letter. That's the memo. Yes, that's the memo. So that, that's all uh, Okay. Yeah, that okay. content is was, was translated yeah, and then we adopted. Okay. And then we adopted, or we reviewed and then amended today. Okay. So. Uh, are you going Sorry. to? Uh, are you well? Does that affect your when you he, vote? He, to has, he has to vote here. He can't vote in council. And then he can't vote in council. Okay. Otherwise, we don't have enough to vote. That that was an ask. That okay, good. All right. Actually, I think you still do have enough. But I'll still vote. You have a form of what's here. Of what's here, but I don't yeah. know. Well, that's that's a good with point. you. No, 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 no. I have a so quorum. With the three of us here, okay, a quorum, we can vote. Now, you don't need all three of us to vote. So I only need a majority of who's present? Yeah, that's all you need. You need a majority of who's present, correct. Okay, well then, what do you want to do? So, do you, yeah, you want to keep the council or you want to keep the vote here? I think I'll abstain, you know. Okay. So, so let him. So, I will second. second. Okay. So, Chris. And I'll vote with the council. Okay. Sound right, Joe? Works for me. No, I think that's good. That's good. Uh, any further discussion? All right. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Abstain. Um, motion carried. All right. Here we go. Do you have the permit? <laughs> you got the belt Temporary over sign application or made of jam. Serve salmon. Right. So it's our first test of the morning. We would be able to open her to do something that the council hasn't approved. Well, this is what it's going to be. It's going to, we're going to so are we going to uh, do it contingent upon the council approval of the adoption. Of the council adopts this. Yeah. Okay. We got two votes this for it, anyhow, I think. So. Mm -hmm. the village's for the new ordinance. Right. Yeah. 
That's very good. That's a good idea. So with the company, we approved you to do Approve me to apply. We're just approving the ordinance at the council meeting. We don't even need to discuss it. From the hearing, and now you're no. subject to the council. Oh, yeah. We won't be discussing her permit application. No, you guys are going to adopt, yeah, we're just we're gonna adopt the ordinance. Uh, hopefully, approve the sign ordinance. Yeah. And they may not want to approve that the next meeting because they have not have seen it. So after adoption, is its effectivity immediate, or do we have to wait for the uh, actual ordinance to be updated uh, digitally as well as whatever paper, copy, copy, master copy, and then published? So the ordinance will not officially go into effect until the 15 days after council, council approves it and it's noticed. Um, so are we mid-June? And then so I was going to say, what's the date here? So really, the approval that you would give would, right, would, would be effective the day that that 15 day grace right. period is mm -hmm. over. So you're going to be end of May. So you've got plenty of time mm -hmm. yeah. to start in mid June. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, does that makes sense. This ha yeah, no, it does. But I think this has time. That reason why I ask is this is going to hit the first meeting council meeting. So yeah. it, next Monday. The this will right the sign order. The sign order. Okay, it's not going to be at the end of the month. The second no, side of the uh, second meeting. Okay. Good. So it's going to be at our next Monday meeting. Mm -hmm. yeah. Supposed yeah. to be. So what is that? The fifteenth. So if they approve it on the fifteenth, yeah. then yeah. it's yeah. effective on the thirtieth. Thirtieth. So okay. Memorial so Day. You'll have plenty of time. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. That's his plenty of time. Okay. I was concerned if it got down to the twenty-first or whatever that or whatever that next second twenty-second meeting yeah, would be. Yeah, we still have time. Okay. But you know, it should be on Monday. Do you? Uh, Yes, you should forward a copy to Jeff. Of the sign ordinance? I can do that. You might ask, um, what do you think? Should we send that copy to Jeff? Forward a copy? He's always reviewed the ordinances, so I wouldn't say it's out of the ordinary. If he reviews it and he sees that it doesn't see a problem, then we'll probably go one day. He's just reading that vote. He's I was I was worried. That's why I was thinking about going to the, the second second, even if they go to the second There's still enough second, time. She okay. still has time. I'm not yeah. usually like Nancy Pelosi who says we got to pass it and then read it. They usually <laughs> read it first. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Is there something you see missing? I don't see anything missing. The only thing that would be helpful moving forward would be like a sketch drawing, especially like. Yeah. Um, I I, I would focus on um, like street corners uh, where your fences come together. If if that's the case, I'm not sure, but um, just to verify because yeah. there are some standards for, for corner site yeah. clearance yeah. issues. Yeah, that's fifteen foot. But I don't see that being an issue here. And, and uh, but for our for future, right, future, 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 right. future, yeah, okay. I would ask for that. Sort of I don't even know if on that one corner there is anything other than the wood fence. And there's the parking mm -hmm. spots, right? Is there a fence even there? Mm -hmm. The pump house is in that. The corner. pump yeah, house right. is right in that corner. Yeah. yeah. Setback. The right. cyclone fence is yeah. setback. Right, it's behind that. Yeah. Fence, but I don't think anything. Mm -hmm. is not really on the corner. Yeah. So it doesn't have to be something formal. It can just be a sketch. But as long as the planning commission is comfortable with mm -hmm. the location and can envision where things are going, I don't see any concern. So, now more importantly, hold on. Does this actually qualify as a. Have, as you, filled out, have you filled out a permit, Sam? I mean, it, 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 it just supplies an application. There's no. Right. Do right. no, we approve something here for her? What does it have to Yes. Oh, it doesn't read um, the number of signs, the size of the signs, the fact that they're on the fences. Oh, no, I see. And, now, and three by eight, kind of got it. And the duration is longer. 45, 45 days? Was 40, it? 45 days is the max. Right. Mm -hmm. up for and we're up months. to two months. So, yeah. that's so it's a little more than two months. Got it. Right. Okay. right. So that's yeah, why yeah. she had to do this. Mm -hmm. That's why we created I'm that. With the, I'm with the, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, this so is a good example. Ready? Even if this were to be like a two week event, right? So it's still below 45 days. The, the total square footage of the signage is pretty substantial. Oh, so, yeah. you still want to be able to take a look at that or 
vice versa. If right. it was so you know, five speed. of these signs and 90 days, you'd say, okay, well, let's make sure that we're on board. Oh, these are like the ones we used to hang up at the ball fields. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Got it. That's about that same size. They're a little bigger. But they're all out of town. Yeah. Yeah. No, I just, but it just reminded me of the, the, what the, the, what the, and the, you know, and it's, it's going to be based, is it sponsor? It was, it was, it's it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, but that's yeah. that type of sign. Got it. Yeah. So can I make a motion to approve her? Permit application. Unique sign up no. permit. Pending yeah. adoption of the ordinance. Yeah, that. Pardon? Yeah. That. Pending the adoption of the ordinance by council. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'd say pending the the date that the how do you want to phrase that? You don't want to permit it pending the date that council approves it. You want it to begin. The date that the ordinance goes into effect. Okay, that's true because it would that would apply that council has adopted it. Regardless. All right. So we're gonna approve the unique signage permit and the unique jams banners in the park to go into effect with the when the when the option of the ordinance, when the ordinance goes the ordinance of the goes into uh, effect. The, to go into effect the ordinance. So yeah. All right. say that again. Brian said, hey, get, a, get that last part from my head. Is he has it worded he it perfectly. I'm making a test of my memory. Because <laughs> I remember that. Um, it's not, wasn't so, a job. Yeah, go ahead. Effective. No, man, I'm going to screw this up really this time. I'm rewind the tape and get it Effective um, at the time the new ordinance goes into effect. It goes into effect. Don't you have to say something about it being adopted? It would, in order to get there, it has to be adopted. Okay. So it, it actually it gets everything. It means it's we've done our thing, council's done their thing, everyone's and done their thing, it. including the, whatever McKenna had to do at that point, too. You're, you're going to just to tie it up and get it out right. there to be yeah, adopted. A second. To be adopted. Young lady. If we need a second. Second. Happy on the young. Thanks so much. All right, any further discussion? Good. All right. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, motion carried. Very good. Say it's surprising what you can get when you bring cookies in. Yeah. <laughs> Public comments, the cookies are delicious, right? Yeah. yeah so. We do have a council meeting Monday. More cookies? More cookies. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Sam, is this from the new oven? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Is it? Oh, okay. 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 All right. No. Uh, chair report. Um, the DDA bond interest payment uh, was made. Uh, do I need to say how much? Okay. Per budget. Per budget. Yep. And. As uh, from the last meeting, we had the uh, contin uh, condi one of the conditions on lines of proof was to have uh, new drawings or updated drawings submitted. Those have been submitted and received uh, and deemed acceptable. That's it for the chair report. Uh, my two or three time a year time, so thank you for the stay. <laughs> uh, motion to uh, adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Meeting at 824. 23. Second. All right. All right. Uh, no, assuming no further discussion. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed, so motion carried. Meeting adjourned. Thank you very much. So, this is doing the wipe at home.